Hi, I'm Steve from Yoga Gal Support. Welcome to another Exoquantum training video. Before installing ARA, a number of prerequisites need to be undertaken and checked. Exaquantum PIMs must be installed and running correctly. Exaquantum should be receiving alarm data. The web user interface is installed and running correctly. Microsoft.NET Framework 4 is installed. IIS features and components have been configured. SQL reporting services has been enabled and is running. Exaquantum PIMS is in a stopped state. Once the prerequisites are complete, insert the ARA DVD. If Auto Run is enabled, the launcher will appear. But if not, navigate to the root folder of the DVD and run the launcher application. Click the server install link. Click the next button. Tick the license terms checkbox and click next. If you have a separate ARA web server, then change localhost to the web server name. Otherwise, just click Next. If you are connecting to a Fast Tools server, enable the Fast Tools connector. If you wish to use a different location for the ARA files, use the Browse button to change the path. Then click Next. Click Install to start the installation process. When the installation completes, click the Finish button. Now, click the Web Server Install link. Click the Next button. Tick the License Terms checkbox and click Next. If you have configured a separate website for ARA, you can choose it now, or else choose the default website. Leave the virtual directory unchanged and click Next. The application pool settings should be left unchanged unless you have special requirements, in which case please contact YMX support. Otherwise, click Next. If you have a separate ARA data server, enter the name. Otherwise, leave as localhost and click Next. If you wish to change the install location, click the Browse button to select a new folder. Otherwise, click Next. Click Install to start the installation process. When the installation completes, click the Finish button. Once the installation is complete, there are a small number of post-install tasks to carry out. 
Firstly, add users to the QARA view group. Add the QARA view user to the XQuantum Framework database. Check the ARA job processing status and check the web page is visible. Open the server manager and expand the tree to locate local groups. Now add any users to the QARA view group that need to be able to access alarm reports. Right click the group and choose properties. Click add and enter the usernames and then click OK. Click OK again to finish. Now close Server Manager. Open SQL Management Studio as Administrator. Click the connect button and then expand the databases tree to get to the XQuantum Framework database. Click on the user node, right click and choose new user. Choose Windows user. and choose QARA view user. Click the membership tab and select DB data reader. Now click OK. Navigate to the SQL Server Agent and expand the Jobs node. Right click the ARA Update job and select View History. Check that the ARA Update job has run at least once. Close the view history and now exit SQL Server Management Studio. Open Internet Explorer and navigate to the URL for IRA. You'll be prompted for your user credentials. Check that the ARA web page appears with the correct logged in user. There will be no data yet because no processing has taken place. You can now close Internet Explorer. The ARA installation process is now complete and ARA can be configured.